Question 12. How long should a build take? When running dot slash gradlu build for the first time, it is likely that the Gradle wrapper script will need to download Gradle for you. Gradle distributions run around 30 meters B, so this step will be connection speed dependent. Answer. You will also need to download all of Spring's compile and test time dependencies. This currently runs around 120 MB. Keep in mind here that almost all of these dependencies are optional at runtime for applications that use Spring. It's only when building from source that you actually need them all. Once you've bootstrapped a Gradle distribution and downloaded dependencies, you won't need to do it again. They are cached in your $home slash dot Gradle directory. A complete slash Gradle clean build at this point will take between 5 and 15 minutes depending on your clock and disk speed. A solid state drive makes a huge difference here. As is also mentioned below in the tips section, you'll want to break yourself of any habits executing the clean task during normal development iterations. Gradle has excellent incremental build support, meaning that once you've built Java doc, compiled, run test, etc. Gradle won't execute these tasks again unless the inputs for those tasks, for example, Java files, have changed. As a general rule, just run slash Gradle build or slash Gradle test without clean to keep things snappy. Also, consider running with the A flag to avoid evaluating other sub-projects you depend on. For example, if you're iterating on changes in Spring Web MVC, cd into the Spring Web MVC directory and run slash Gradle able to tell Gradle to evaluate and build only that sub-project. Question 13. How do I configure the Gradle daemon to speed up builds? Answer. The Gradle daemon helps greatly in eliminating startup overhead. This feature may potentially be enabled by default in the future, but in the meantime you need to instruct Gradle to launch the daemon process. This can be achieved by passing the daemon flag to Gradle at the command line, by exporting a Gradle underscore OPTS environment variable that includes stored.gradle.daemon equals true, or by adding org.gradle.daemon equals true to the gradle.properties file in your Gradle user home directory, for example, slash dot gradle slash gradle Gradle.properties. If you are building against JDK9 and using the Gradle daemon, you may encounter an unrecognized VM option error which halts the build. To avoid this error, you can add org.gradle.jvmargs equals xx max metaspace size equals 1024 meters xmx 1024 meters to the Gradle.properties file in your Gradle user home directory. See also Gradle 3256 for details. Question 14. Why are compile time warnings suppressed? You'll notice that build.gradle includes the following line. Answer. Compile Java. Compile test Java. Options. Compiler args equals. Clint none. This tells Gradle to suppress all warnings during compilation. The reason for this is that the framework currently has many warnings, most of which are related to generics usage particularly raw type warnings for example using class instead of class. This is an artifact switching to Java 5 in Spring 3. As with the Java doc warnings mentioned above, committers are encouraged to fix these warnings whenever possible. Once the bulk of them are eliminated, we can switch to Clint all. In the meantime, it just creates unnecessary noise in the build output. Question 15. How do I perform a milestone RC or G release? Answer. The steps are simple, and almost everything is done via the bamboo and artifact tree UIs. One time setup. Configure your C build plan to use the Artifactory Maven 3 or Artifactory Gradle tasks as appropriate. For deployer username, use build master, password on request, steps at a glance. Stage the release into the libs staging local repository. Verify and test the staged artifacts. Promote the release to libs milestone local or libs release local as appropriate. Merge release branch. Announce the release. Steps in detail. Stage the release. The Artifactory Bamboo plugin mentioned above also includes sophisticated release management capabilities. This feature allows for publishing releases directly from CI, including creating a release branch and or tag, incrementing the project version, and publishing to the libs staging local, libs milestone local or libs release local repositories as appropriate. To access this feature, click on the default job for the Spring 3.2.x build plan, where you'll see a link to Artifactory Release Management. Fill out the form fields there and click Build and Release to Artifactory. Typical values in this case for a milestone release. 
verify staged artifacts. When the staging build and release process is complete, you can navigate to the associated build record in Artifact Tree to verify that all modules were published as expected. Promote the release. When the verification is complete, return to the build in Bamboo from which you staged the release and click Default Job in Artifact Tree at the top, below the job status bar. Make sure you have the sidebar shown in order to see this. Merge the release branch. At this point, the release is complete and successful, so the release branch should be merged back into master. Announce the release. At this point, announcements may be made and users may consume the released artifacts by adding http colon slash slash wisdom jobs slash libs milestone local to their build scripts. Question 16. What about publishing artifacts to Maven Central? Answer. This allows for maximum convenience for the majority of Spring users. Given that most users have Maven-based builds and Maven resolves artifacts by default from Maven Central, the preferred way of releasing artifacts to Maven Central is via Sonatype's Nexus server at oss.sonatype.org. OSO. This is explained in detail in Sonatype's OSS usage guide. The Spring Artifactory repository has been customized with a Nexus push plugin that allows for automatic propagation of builds from artifact tree to the Nexus server at OSO for publication into Maven Central. All Spring projects that is, all projects having grouped org.spring framework can publish to OSO under the shared Spring source account. This has already been set up in the Nexus push plugin. So there's no additional setup necessary at OSO, even for new projects. The Artifactory Bamboo plugin supports use of the Nexus Push plugin through its UI Step 3 of the FAQ entry above on publishing releases described the process for promoting a build out of staging. If the build is a G release, simply choose the Push to Nexus option and select Libs Release Local as the target repository. Question 17. When will I be able to play with this? Answer right now. See the samples readme for details on how to get started. Question 18. What's the overall roadmap? Answer. A subsequent milestone release of Gradle script Kotlin will ship with the forthcoming Gradle 3.0. We'll be posting further information about the roadmap to Gradle script Kotlin 1.0 g soon. Question 19. Is using Groovy for my build scripts deprecated? Answer. No. Gradle's Groovy support is not deprecated and will continue to be supported. Question 20. Will existing plugins still work when I write my build logic in Kotlin? Answer. Yes. They will continue to work without a problem. Gradle plugins can be developed in any JVM language and they interoperate well with each other as well as with build scripts written in Kotlin or Groovy. Question 21. Do I have to use Intel IIJ IDEA when using Kotlin for Gradle? Answer, no. Although JetBrains is the company behind IDEA and also the inventor and driving force behind Kotlin, JetBrains is also committed to providing Kotlin support for Eclipse. The IDE support for writing Gradle build logic in Eclipse will actually improve with Kotlin once we integrate the Eclipse Kotlin support into build ship the Gradle plugin for Eclipse. Question 22. In what language should I develop my plugins? Answer. You can develop your plugins in any JVM language. But as part of this effort, we are working on making Kotlin the language of choice for developing Gradle plugins. Stay tuned.